know the sedan market isn't as hot as it was, but I'll tell you what, this sedan is something you should consider if you like performance. Hi, I'm Lauren Fix. Welcome to another episode of The Car Coach. Today, we are driving the 2018 Genesis G80. This is the one with a five liter that we've all been waiting to review. Believe me, there's a high demand for this car and it's the ultimate package, which means it has all the goodies. And I'm excited to take it for a test drive and to tell you how it drives, how it handles, and some of the cool technology. Let's take it for a spin. Finally, spring has sprung here up in the Northeast and I have the ability to drive this Genesis G85 liter. Now this vehicle is in very high demand amongst journalists. Why? Well, we all love the G80 Sport and you can check out my review online with that. However, I really love the G80 Sport. I'm a huge fan of the G90 and I think they've done a great job, but this is the five liter. This is the V8 engine. And that's just a normal mode. So you're talking about a vehicle that has True luxury, great technology, wonderful safety, and a lot of get up and go. Performance, technology, safety, handling, braking, this vehicle has it all. This is what I wish some of the other brands would have produced. When you're looking at sedans, what they should be building is something like this. This is what Genesis is building. It has all of the luxuries and the price point is unbelievably reasonable. First off, we're talking about the seating comfort as I always do. Yes, it has lumbar on both sides. Yes, this unbelievably comfortable seats, wonderful seating surfaces that are leather. And then on top of that, you're looking at visibility. I think the visibility is great. Another thing that may not be about your forward visibility is this sunroof. Now I have it closed right now because we're on camera, but check out this video. It split opens, that's just, just that little bit of class, that luxury. That's what people want. They want to go, that's cool. And that little bit is enough to make someone buy this vehicle, maybe over a competitor. And you may go, oh, please, over a sunroof cover? You'd be surprised. So looking at the gauges in front of us, we have real gauges. We have the ability to change with one button. We can get our navigation. We can get our tire pressure information amongst other information on the vehicle. And then you can adjust things such as the head-up display. Now, I'm not wearing polarized sunglasses right now because when I do, you cannot see the head-up display, which is true in pretty much any vehicle. As far as I'm concerned, everything here is easy to use, from the navigation system to the audio system to the climate control that's right here in the middle. Navigation is super easy to use. I love the real clock. It's just a little bit of class. I mean, hey, this is a car you can take to the country club and no one ever go, oh, you're driving a Genesis? They'd say, oh, you're driving a Genesis. Very nice. Tons of USB connections. The cup holders are the one big negative I have, and you may laugh, but if you've got a water bottle that's this size, this size water bottle is not that unusual for someone like myself. This is a standard one liter bottle. Hey, we're all supposed to be drinking more water. And here I am looking going, this is a one liter bottle. It doesn't fit in the cup holder and there's no cup holders in the door. So I think the storage needs to be a little bit improved. So you end up, you know, putting it in your legs or putting it on the ground or I don't know, but the fact is, that's not that unusual, and I think the cup holders need to be that much bigger. As far as all the controls, you get heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, all great. A round view camera is fabulous. The technology in this vehicle is state of the art. The safety features, top of the line, absolutely impressive all the way around. Now, as far as performance, I like the get up and go, and I also like the whoa power, which is your brakes. Handling in the sport mode is fabulous. Of course, when you change the drive mode to normal, performance changes itself and a lot of the suspension and handling aren't as tight but these are things that I could drive this car in regular sport mode every day now I'm not the biggest fan of the eco mode but when you're sitting in stop and go traffic that might be the way to go it changes all the shift points and that's pretty standard on most of these vehicles but I have to say I really like this vehicle this is another one of those vehicles I just don't want to return at the end of the week well, I've spent the week in this Genesis, and I have to say I'm really a fan of the performance. This is a great little V8 engine. The fuel economy is not what it's about in this. This is about performance, and it gives you that exhilaration that Genesis is trying to get people to get excited about. I know the sedan market isn't as hot as it was, but I'll tell you what, this sedan is something you should consider if you like performance. This vehicle's got great handling, great ride comfort, great technology, great safety, and 
Overall, you're getting a lot of car for your money. And what makes the Genesis so good over all of its competitors is the warranty. You're getting five year, 50,000 mile on the vehicle overall, and the drivetrain is 10 year, 100,000 mile, plus it includes a roadside package. So you're getting a lot of good stuff for the money. I'm giving this a thumbs up. If you haven't driven one in a while and you're thinking about buying a German car, or maybe some of the other luxuries like Lexus or Acura, I think you should take the Genesis for a spin. We'll see you next time. All the links are down below. Pluses, minuses, pricing, everything you want to know is right down there. We'll see you next time. Every single thing about this vehicle, I mean, even when you go to the back, is just, what kid wouldn't want to ride to school back here? This is fantastic. And of course, even little things like shades for having babies in back. So there's plenty of room for putting in child safety seats, knee room, headroom, headroom and leg room. Let me try that again. <laughs>